Hey, Carol Perry here. We are talking about inspections today. How are you guys doing? It is August 4th, 2021. So right now it is considered a seller's market. There is less than six months of inventory. So that is considered a market. Six month inventory is a balanced market. You got your offer accepted and now you need to order ins the inspection right away. The right now, the trend is usually around seven days or even less sometimes because just to have the offer be competitive with other offers. But um, typically in a balanced market, it's between seven and 15 days. Even if you have a longer inspection period, you wanna get it done as quick as possible because A, the sooner you get it done, the sooner you'll feel comfortable ordering the appraisals. Now, sometimes if you have very short contracts, so maybe it's only, you're gonna, you gotta close in two to three weeks, you're gonna have to order the appraisal immediately and just bite the bullet and hope that the inspection goes well because otherwise if you push that out by the time you get the appraisal you're gonna go past those dates typically other reason for getting it done quickly is also to allow time for repairs and then another reason would be to just be considerate to the sellers because they're kind of in limbo until their, their home is taken off the market during the inspection period the purpose of the inspection is to make sure there aren't any large ticket items safety issues lurking that weren't apparent when you went through the home for your preview even if you a buyer has a contractor in the family or something like that I still suggest to have a home inspector come because they do this day in and day out is so used to looking at every single thing kind of nice they'll go through and they'll give you some preventative measures on how to you know things that you want to watch out for and take care of even if there's not a problem right now but to avoid issues down the road so it's really nice for the buyer uh, especially first-time buyers to really learn you know how to care for the home home full and ho home inspection alone this is something that the buyer is going to pay for it's going to be out of pocket for a full home inspection it's usually 300 to 500 dollars uh, depending on the size of the home i've seen large luxury home inspections uh, cost approximately a 1500s because they bring in a team or else they would never get it done pest inspection is also called a termite or a wdo that stands for wood destroying objects that is typically between 75 and 120 please don't quote me because every area is different when it comes to the cost of inspections keep that in mind that you definitely have to have a pest inspection for a for a VA loan, but I always would recommend them. A radon inspection test the, for radon gas is something that lurks in the ground, and the recommended cap on that is 4.0, so you're looking for hopefully a reading under 4.0. There is actually a radon map that you can look up. The radon test costs around $100, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. Depending on where you live, a radon mitigation system would be between $500 and $2,000. Another thing you need to order is in Florida, you need additional insurance report. These would be your wind mitigation report. That is going to give you some massive credits on your insurance. And those credits are for the roof being attached properly and in good condition. And also impact windows can give you a significant credit or if it has accordion shutters, they have to be a full set and to get the credit. Or, or hurricane panels, same thing. And then the garage door, if that's an impact door, and all of your door openings. For the home being a concrete home, I think you get additional credits, but you can verify that with an insurance person. I don't try to tend to be go out of my lane too much to be an expert in other areas, but I do try to learn as much from them as I possible so they can kind of foresee potential problems. So during the inspection period, make sure that your buyer does get an insurance quote again they'll need that wind mitigation report in Florida but not in Michigan so in Florida like if a home is older they're gonna want to see the four point and that covers the HVAC system the plumbing the electrical and the roof so make sure that you talk to your insurance agent before getting your inspection so you know whether to order report as well the inspector will point out items that um, are very small like say a door that doesn't shut properly or maybe there's a chip in the tile or you know just like s small things like that I typically use as a rule of thumb it, I ask for things that are over $500 to be fixed for major type problems so say if there's a serious plumbing leak or maybe the um, the roof is compromised and needs a repair. Things like that are, are major 
I will ask for those. Now, if we already saw something like that and, and we already negotiated the price based on the repairs that needed to be home, I don't want to go in and, and, and beat them up again. Okay, because we already did that during negotiation that we could see that there was a lot of things wrong with the home. But if there are things that you uncovered during the inspection that you didn't anticipate, that's different. So typically, we're the seller. Would you want to be beat up on just some minor, minor things? But if there are problems that will affect the financing, so for example, FHA financing, you would need GFCI outlets. Those would be, need to be taken care of, even though it's not major, like a major expense, it's a safety issue and it's also a financing issue, so I would want those to be repaired. Another thing too, if say the appliances are, you know, they're in great condition, they work well and everything, but they happen to be like, you know, 15, 20 years old, but they're still in great working condition, um, you could maybe ask for a home warranty because at least in the first year, if anything goes wrong, the buyer wouldn't be out, you know, completely for something like that. I will go, say the addendum, might say uh, inspection contingency to be removed pending that this and this is repaired to buyer satisfaction and receipts are provided by the seller. So say heater was there was something wrong with a hot water heater, you would want to have receipts that that was uh, taken care of and fixed properly and um, you know you don't want to have a outstanding mechanics lien on the home so you want to make sure that they provide the receipt showing that that was done for any financing regardless where you are most the criteria is that the roof has to have at least three years of useful life in it for most financing conventional is much easier on this i don't think that they call that out i've seen it more in uh, you know fha usda or va loans where that's a problem but again for insurance purposes they may require it. So just kind of keep all of that in mind. You know, it's going to vary state by state. What I used to do is surround myself with great lenders so that I have some great go-tos to get that information. So I'm trying to bring to mind things that you might run into and to be aware of so that you don't get caught up. Because what if the insurance is much, much higher than what the lender had put, budgeted into to qualify the buyer? that's not gonna be good. You don't wanna to wait till the last minute to find that out. But all possible during the inspection period, get the insurance quote, just to make sure that it's not going to blow their budget. Feel free or comments, uh, things that you've run into on inspections, please you know, comment below. And also, you, know, you can contact me. I'm gonna put my business card up at the end of the video so you can feel free to contact me. I like to hear you know, what you've run into also because we all learn from each other. You have a great day. Thank you, bye.